So sometimes, um, uh, a lot of the time, I'll have an acoustic song, something on the acoustic guitar, which I've written, and then we'll take it, the uh, Matty will take it to some electronics, and we'll kind of work out how to do that. Sometimes. How? How? Well, you get the acoustic song, so you've got the top line melody yeah. of a song. Then Matty will see what key it's in, and then he will start working to get like some kind of riff, something that's, you know, the kind of right riff that sits with the vocal plus the right tempo so we get a good beat and a good riff so he'll start doing that as the basic framework we'll put the vocal in over the top and see if it makes any sense okay. if it makes some sense then and you're liking it then you can start building in other things around it and so you leave then the actual beginning the guitar the acoustic guitar is then taken out yeah taken out, okay. taken out. Um, and then there's other times when uh, we'll have something electronic and then I will write a song over it. So there's an electronic, like, for instance, Top Boy is like, Matty already had the musical side of that mostly. And uh, he had kind of just one loop that was like um, the riff and the kind of skanks. And then I started singing stuff over the top and trying to get something like that. So that's another way we do it. Sometimes we do it completely together where like, I'll have a bit of an electronic thing and then he'll finish it and I'll have a bit of a song or he'll have a bit of a song and I'll finish it. So there's different ways that we kind of do it. And there's one song like Love Like Semtex um, happened from, uh, I had an idea of a beat in my head that I wanted Al to play, got him to play the beat. And I had uh, a lyric, Love Like Semtex, in my head that I'd carried around with me for years. How come? What, do you do, you do, do you still recall the first time? Um, you no, I just had the lyric in my lyric book, Love Like Semtex, and I just, I always liked it, but I never sort of used it. So then we had this beat going, and then I just started singing, and then Matty started playing a guitar line, and then it all came together like that. And I was like, right, and we listened back and we thought, that's, that's really good. So then I went back and sort of wrote the lyrics properly, but it came about from almost a jam. So it's okay. kind of, there's no kind of definite rule to how an infidel song is made, but... But does it evolve the way you make music now? Yeah. How, well, if you, uh, if you have to compare it let's say the songs that were written for this album and to the songs, I don't know if you have written already some new songs, but to the songs that you are writing now? What um, well, the songs that I've written now for the, with the next album in mind uh, are kind of like every songwriter wants to evolve and get better. Um, so maybe some of the ones that I've written will be slightly more hooky and some of the ones I've written will have more of the kind of harder rock and roll thing in mind in the writing. But then some of them will be kind of... I, I like the idea of getting a classic song yeah. against electronics. Like, I think we've got really... We've done that quite well with Murder That Sound, like where you take something that people... If you play it on an acoustic guitar, people will say, oh, you could never, ever put that with electronics. But you get a kind of... Matty likes the kind of Brian Eno side of things and getting the sort of things around it. So, I don't know, I mean, I just write constantly. I just, my, my whole thing is I write just constantly. Just on your acoustic guitar. On the acoustic guitar, and then some of those things will be suitable for infidels and some of them will never work for infidels. And then me and Matty will get in the studio and he may have written a load of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will just write with him over that sort of stuff. So we just kind of get as many ideas as possible so that when we get into the studio together, we go, oh, I've got this song, oh, I've got this piece of music, oh, let's try that bit over that, or, or I've got this song, oh, let's make the whole music for this, or I've got this music, you, you come up with a melody, and we kind of want to do it something like this, you know, like, kind of inspired by different records as well.